welcome to Music with Miss VW. Today we're learning about the instruments of Africa. By the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to identify African instruments and the groups that they live in, the subfamilies, and describe the sounds that they make. So first I wanted to just talk briefly about variety. So just like the variety in songs, there is a wide variety of instruments used in African music. And today we're going to focus just on some traditional instruments. One instrument family in Africa is rhythm idiophones, which we would call non-pitched percussion instruments. These include slit drums, rattles, shakers, scrapers, clappers, bells, and gongs. I have a few pictures of some idiophones, and I'm going to play each of these instruments for you. They're all instruments that I have back here in my collection. This includes these bells, a shakire, a shaker, a slit drum, and this rattle. Let me grab those. First, we have this bell. It's got two tones. The next instrument we have is this slit drum. You can see there's slits in the wood and these little tongues make different sounds when they are tapped. Next up, we have the shakire. The shakire can be played just by twisting it, by tapping it, or by rubbing your hand against the beads. There's also a shaker. It's got a woven exterior and then a membrane on the end. And this rattle is made of dried shells. All right. The next family we have is the melodic idiophonic. So just like idiophones, these are percussion instruments, but these ones are pitched. These include the embira, kalimba, sanza, all of those instruments are similar to this one in that they have these metal pieces that stick out that you pluck with your thumb. There's also the Jew's harp. And then there's the marimba, balo, bon, and amadinida. These are all xylophone type instruments, but they have a bit of a different sound. The only instrument that I have from this family in my collection is the kalimba. Let me grab that. All right, so my kalimba has a little butterfly on it and you can see these metal bars. Each of them makes a different pitch when plucked. And you can do a scale by alternating thumbs. The next family we have is chordophones. Chordo is representing the strings or chords that they have on them. So these are the string instruments. They include harps, musical bows, lyres, fiddles, lutes, and zithers. A zither is the instrument that's used in the SpongeBob song. So if you've heard that SpongeBob song that kind of sounds like it's a strange instrument, that is the zither that you're hearing. The only instrument that I have from this family is this handmade instrument here that I actually got from a person in Africa. So this particular instrument, it has a coconut, a little membrane here, these metal wires that are attached to the bottom, and then come up and are tuned with these pegs. It also has a handmade bow, and it's played similarly to a violin. All right, the next family the aerophones, air, wind instruments. These include flutes, whistles, reed pipes, trumpets, and horns. I have this hand carved flute and I have a set of pan flute. Here is the pan flute. It is similar, similarly played to a harmonica. Each of the holes makes a different sound. It's also similar to a flute in the way that you make the sound. 
by blowing over the hole like you would over the top of a pop bottle. And then we have this one. It's played similar to a recorder. The last family is the membranophones. These are the drums. Drums are so important in African music and African culture that they have their own family. The drums can come in three different shapes. The hourglass shape, which is bigger at the top, gets smaller in the middle and then big again at the bottom. There is goblet shaped, which is just like this djembe drum that I have pictured here. And then the kettle shape, which has the drum head and then it's big and round, kind of like a kettle. Another point that I wanted to mention is the talking drum. This drum is very popular and it actually can mimic some languages in Africa. For example, the word ilu means drum. If it said ilu, ilu, or ilu, it means three different things. So they are able to use the talking drum and how it works is they have strings that connect from the top to the bottom of the drum. And when they put pressure on the strings, it tightens the drum head and changes the pitch. So their language has a lot of different meanings depending on pitch. So they're able to mimic that with their talking drum. I'll grab the djembe to show you now. All right, djembe here. Again, it's that goblet shape. The drum head can be played in a few different ways. There's a few different sounds you can make on it. The first is just by having your hand like this and hitting it so that the crease hits a right around the rim. That makes a nice loud do sound. Next is to just pat your hand in the middle. And then there's the clapping sound by cupping your hand. All right, do you see any African instruments in this picture of the area behind me? Which instruments do you recognize that we just looked at? Whoops. Are you able to find each of those instruments? All right, next up we have your job. So your job after viewing this video is to be able to define what is an idiophone, what is a chordophone, what is an aerophone, and what is a membranophone. Remember, you can use the words like chord, aero, membrane to help you remember which is which. Last up is just a little quiz. Which family does this belong to? So I'm going to go back to this one so you can see the options. And I'm going to hold up each of these instruments here. And I want you to try and remember which family it belongs to. Aerophone. Chordophone. Idiophone. Idiophone. Aerophone. This one was a melodic idiophone because it's pitched. Another idiophone. Idiophone. And another idiophone. I have lots of those. Membranophone. All right. 
Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.